Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Getting to Know Flugerville. My name is Kenne Mba. I'm a real estate agent with Newview Realty Group where we help our buyer and seller clients achieve their real estate dreams. Uh, today I'm out at Grand Avenue. I'm at Lone Star Crab Shack and it's right outside of a strip mall that's got um, several stores um, right out here, 1101 Grand Avenue. And I'm here with um, the owner operator, Austin Brown. Yes. Welcome to the show, Austin. Nice to meet everybody. Um, our address is 1100 Grand Avenue and the shopping center is a great one. Okay. So um, I'm going to put all of um, Austin's um, info out there for um, Lone Star Crab Shack. Uh, so let's get to know um, your business. Can you tell us a bit about your business? Um, well, our business is just aiming to have a kind of unique set of tastes with our crab, shrimp, our seafood that we offer. Um, we do look and we are looking into having more food added to the menu as we go and grow, but just looking to have unique tastes for the community. So it's a seafood, and, and you, if you can tell, we're, in a, we're inside the food truck, it's real noisy outside. So we're inside the food truck, it's a seafood uh, food truck. They focus on crabs, shrimp, and potatoes, potatoes corn, egg, corn, rice. Pretty much all you can expect from like a really um, nice um, seafood place. And you guys are open Monday through Fridays? Uh, we are open from Wednesday to Sunday from 11 a.m. to midnight. Okay, Wednesday to Sunday, 11 a.m. to midnight. Okay, um, how did you guys get started? Uh, kind of got started just by um, doing different seafood boils with friends and um, tried out different recipes and we found a recipe that was pretty awesome so we just had a few more people try it and they kind of recommended to like oh y'all could make something out of this and then we went for it and here we are and so you guys are in business because you had friends and family who loved what you made yes. and they said well make a business out of it and that's where you are today that's that's good and that's how a lot of businesses start um, so can you tell us something that your customers say they love about your food? Um, hearing personally and looking at reviews, um, it would one of the most uh, common things we probably hear is uh, the unique flavors that we have as far as our mixes. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that we have really great desserts. Most. One thing that we hear often as well is that they're glad that we're open late because um, compared to a lot of different areas where there's only like one or two fast food places open, mm -hmm. them having the option of something that is seafood and cooked fresh is something unique. So um, customers love unique flavors, open late, and it's fresh. So, and, that, and that's... This is Flugerville and you get a lot of that, but then in this part of Flugerville, that's not something you get very much. Um, but that's good to hear. So how do you guys um, stay motivated? I know um, lots of businesses are challenged right now with COVID, hiring, stuff like that. How do you guys stay motivated in business? I would say one of our main motivations is knowing what we can become um, as far as getting a larger customer base, um, just growing and growing not only as food truck owners but as business owners okay so that's one of the things that keeps us going and able to push through the times that are not ideal for everyone and so one of the things and this is just um, taken off of what you said um, one of the things I've seen with some food truck owners is that as they grow, they expand, they have several food trucks, and then they have like a um, walk-in style restaurant as an additional business. And people <clears throat> who've traveled to that location get to see, oh, well, now in our neighborhood, we have one Lone Star Crab Shack, and that's great. So that's, that's something that keeps you motivated. Yes. This is what we could be in the future. 
So can you tell us something that has been mem like a memorable experience you guys have had with a customer or you have had with a customer? Um, I've had a few pretty memorable ones. Um, one of the ones that sticks out is having referrals who are coming and they're very excited about it. And um, after we feed them and everything, they are not only still very excited about it, but they're saying that, hey, we're gonna spread the word. They come back the next day, the day after, sometimes with additional family members or friends. So um, just those repeat customers definitely are a lasting memory. That's good. Um, so how can customers, or oh, people who are watching this, how, how do they reach you? How do they get to order? Um, we are, oh, oh, in addition to coming in person and ordering, uh, we have DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. So we have a lot of online orders, whether that's delivery or pickup. Okay. Um, other than that, coming in person is the best bet. And yeah. social media you guys have? Yes, we have Instagram, Facebook. I believe we are also on Yelp. And if you look us up on Google, we're pretty accessible. Okay, and you guys have a a number to call and I'm gonna put that number out I'm gonna put yes. out your social media links as well awesome. on this so um, you, um, people can see that um, so do you guys have any offers any um, events coming up that um, customers should know about uh, well we are looking at opening up a restaurant before the year is over okay. so uh, we will have a grand opening I'm sure with the DJ and all, all of that kind of fun. That's good. So you guys got that. So besides the food truck, there's going to be a restaurant opening up. Is it here in Pflugerville? Yes, we are looking yeah, at here in Pflugerville. We're looking at other areas as well, just to make sure we're looking at everything, but most likely Pflugerville. Oh, great. Well, that's good to know. Um, so thank you very much, Austin. And in the background, Deidre, the other owner, is out in the back. She makes all the desserts, um, but she's, she's busy working. Um, Thank you very much for having us, um, Austin. This has been another episode of uh, Getting to Know Flugerville. My name is Ken Emba. I'm a realtor with New View Realty Group, uh, where we help our buyer and seller clients achieve their real estate dreams. Um, if you need lovely seafood on the go, um, the open late, Lone Star Crab Shack. And if you need real estate, you know who to call my number and um, social media links are also out there. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. Awesome.